one class anil dhoni to and we are discussing today the topic fraction in this video we will see the definition of fra fraction lowest form of fraction what are the equivalent fraction what are the types of fractions like as like fraction unlike fraction unit fraction improper fraction proper fraction and mixed fraction and their interconversions then followed by addition and subtraction of fraction so let's start our video so first question is what is the definition of fraction so the fraction is the number the fraction is a number which denotes the part of a whole which denotes some part of a whole part whole means total part whole means total part okay so we denote the fraction as a by b we denote the fraction as a by b where a is called as numerator and b is called as denominator a is called as numerator as well as antecedent b is called as denominator as well as cosequent antecedent and cosequent okay for example if we take 2 by 3 If you take an example of two by three, don't call it as a two divided by three. It is not a calculation. We are saying a number. Okay. So to call fraction, we call it as a two by three or two third or two third. So the number denotes two by three. That means we have total three parts. That means we have total three parts, and in that part we have to denote only two parts. Of the total part, so this will be your two by three. First part, second part, and third part. In this, in the, in these three parts, we have denoted only two parts. Okay. Let us take another example of this. The circle denotes whole part. The circle denotes whole part. Whole part nothing but one. When we divide the circle into two parts, so there are total two parts. Okay. And if you have to write this shaded portion as a fraction. If you have to write the shaded portion as a fraction, okay, then always remember that the denominator part will always return as a total number of parts. The denominator will always represents the total number of part. Okay, so how many parts are there? There are two parts, and how many parts are shaded here? Only one part, and that shaded part will be in the numerator part. Let's take a second example. I have divided that circle into four parts. I have divided a circle into four parts. So we have total how many parts? Total four parts. And how many parts are shaded in the diagram? Only two parts. So that fraction will be two by four. So let us take a third example in class. Okay. See how many parts are here? Total eight parts are there. Total eight parts are there. And how many parts are shaded here? Half circle. In the half circle, we have total four parts are shaded. Four parts are shaded. How many total parts are here? Total six parts are here, and only three parts are shaded. So we have to can write down the three parts in the numerator, and six we will note the total number of parts. Okay. So the next part is lowest form of fractions. First of all, let I let me tell you that what is the lowest form of the fraction? The fraction in which numerator and denominator have only one common factor that is the number. One. Okay. Let us take an example. Two by four. Okay. Two by four is a fraction, but it is not in the form in the lowest form. Why it is not in the form of lowest form? Because the factors for two is two ones are two. The factors for four is two twos are four. So here we have two common and one common. Here is total two factors are common here. That's why it is not considered as a lowest form. Okay. This is not the lowest form. So then, what is the lowest form of two by four? You can write it as two ones are two, two twos are four, and cut that two and two common factor. Cut that common factor, and the remaining part is nothing but the lowest form of this two by four. The lowest part form of two by four is nothing but one by two. Let us take another example. Uh, see, we take three by nine. What is what are the factors for three? Three ones are three. What are the factors for nine? Three threes are nine. Cancel the common factor and we will get one by three. So the lowest form of three by nine is nothing but one by three. Okay. So let's say another point. What are equivalent fraction? What are equivalent fraction? So equivalent fractions are those fractions 
who represents the same part of a whole who represents the same part of a whole for example for example okay if you have to calculate uh, if you have to find out the equivalent fractions for 1 by 2 yeah. evaluate the equivalent fractions for for 1 by 2 how can we calculate that part so let us see the simple method we can multiply numerator and denominator by same number if we multiply numerator and denominator by same number we will get the equivalent fraction first of all we multiply numerator and denominator by 2 let us multiply numerator and denominator by 2 2 ones are 2 2 two are 4 so here we get the equivalent fraction first equivalent fraction for 1 by 2 is nothing but 2 by 4 first equivalent fraction let us calculate another equivalent fraction for this 1 by 2 now we will multiply numerator and denominator by 3 so we will get 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6 the another equivalent fraction for 1 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 6 so we can calculate many equivalent fractions for the one fraction only so the next part is types of fractions as we are saying there are only 6 types of fractions the first one is like fraction, second one unlike fraction, third one grid fraction, then proper fractions, improper fraction and mixed fraction. So let us discuss the first type of fraction, like fraction. Like fractions are those fractions who have same denominator. The fractions whose consequences are same are called as like fractions. For example, 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7 are all okay so second part is unlike fraction it's just the reverse of like fraction those fraction who have different denominators who have different cosequents are called as unlike fraction as you see for example first example 1 by 2 2 by 3 4 by 7 5 by 9 6 by 8 okay so third part is unit fraction unit fractions are those fractions who have antecedent one as well as know that unit means 1 unit means 1 okay so unit fractions are those fractions who, whose antecedents are 1 always 1 so these are called as unit fractions fourth type is proper fractions proper fraction these three types of fractions are very important so listen carefully proper fractions are those fractions whose numerator is greater less than denominator okay whose numerator is less than denominator for example 1 by 2 the numerator is 1 and denominator is 2 1 is less than 2 3 by 5 3 is less than 5 4 by 7 4 is less than 7 so where numerator is less these are called as proper fractions it just the reverse improper fraction numerator is greater than denominator it's just the reverse of proper fraction 4 by 3 9 by 7 11 by 5 here numerator all numerator is greater than all the all these denominators. What about mixed fraction? As you guys see, mixed mixture. Okay, it's a combination of two. It's a combination of whole and fraction. It's a combination of whole and fraction. For example, one integer one by five. Please read this as a one integer one by five. Read this as a two integer two by five. This will be three integer two by seven. So this 1, 2, 3 parts are the whole parts and 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 2 by 7 are the fraction part. So the mixed fraction is the combination of a whole and a fraction. Now we will see conversions of improper fraction to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to improper fraction. Let us take first example. Example number first. Consider the improper fraction 7 by 4. Consider the improper fraction 7 by 4. We have to convert that 7 by 4 to the mixed fraction. Just simply divide that 7 by 4. Now just take a simple division. 4 ones are 4. Okay. 7 minus 4, 3. 7 minus 4, 3. So what do this one called? It is called as a quotient. It is called as a quotient. What is 3? It is a remainder. It is a remainder. This one is divisor, okay, and this one is dividend. This one is dividend. 
Okay. So we have one formula for that. The mixed fractions are represented by quotient remainder upon divisor. Quotient remainder upon divisor truly. Okay. So what is the quotient here? One. So write down at quotient place. What is the remainder? Three. Write down it as the remainder place and divisor four. Base is always same. Denominator is always same. Okay. So four will be at its location four. Okay. So let us take another example. Second example. Eleven by five. So we have to convert this eleven by five in this format. Quotient remainder division or the mixed fraction format. So divide that eleven by five. Five to start ten. Remainder will be one. So quotient is two. Quotient is two. Remainder is one. And divisor will be the same. The base will be same. So quotient is two. Now remainder quotient is one, and base will be at same. Okay. So two integer one by five is equal to eleven by five. So this one is conversion of improper fraction to mixed fraction. Now take say next point mixed fractions to improper fraction. So let's say this example. This one is a mixed fraction. Two integer one by five. Now we have to do reverse method of that, but the method is different. Method is different. Okay. So let us see what is the method. So if we have to convert two integer one by five to improper fraction, the first step is that multiply five by two. Multiply five by two. Okay. So five multiplied by two. Five multiplied by two. The result is ten. All of you know that five is a ten. The result is ten. That result is added to one. That result is added to one. Okay. So five to the ten, ten plus one. Okay. And base will always same as five. So five to the ten, ten plus one. It's eleven by five. See the result. Eleven by five. Eleven by five. Let us take another example. Another example. We can take three integer nine by seven. Three integer nine by seven. So what will you do, guys? Three seven za, three seven za plus nine, and base will be same. So three seven za, twenty one, twenty one plus nine is thirty divided by seven. Simple. So the next part is addition of fraction. First, we will take addition of like fractions. All of you know that the like fractions are those fractions. Whose denominator is same. Whose denominator is same. So let us let us take a first example. One by two plus one by two. These denominators have uh, these denominators are same. So these are the like fraction. So when we add the like fraction, take out one common denominator. Take out one common denominator. Okay, no need to write two denominators. Okay, and the numerators. What are the numerators? One and one. And there is plus sign in between them. If there is a plus sign in between them, just add these two numbers. Add just these two numbers. One plus one will be two upon two is nothing but one. One upon two is nothing but one. Let us take another example. Three by seven plus two by seven plus one by seven. Okay. So right now we have three denominators: seven, seven, seven. So all of the like like fractions. So take out one common, write down one common denominator for seven, and write the numerator values as it is. As it is, that means three plus two plus one. Take plus two plus one is nothing but six upon seven. So this one is a very simple addition. See the addition of unlike fractions. We have written the example add. 2 by 3 and 1 by 5. So these two are the unlike fractions, so the numerators are different. Okay, we have to add them. So now first step is that we have to convert these two unlike fractions into like fractions. This one is a very simple step. So we write the first fraction 2 by 3. Okay, okay. so we have to convert these two unlike fractions into like fractions. Then what will we do? What will we do? Multiply this first fraction by denominator of second fraction, and multiply the second fraction by denominator of first fraction. Okay. See carefully. This is two by three. Multiply this first fraction by denominator of second fraction. Okay. So we get five two is a ten, and five three is a fifty. Now multiply 
second fraction by denominator of first fraction. There will be three and there will be three. So three ones are three and five threes are fifteen. Now we get fifteen, fifteen. These two are the like fraction. And you guys all all you know how to add this like fraction. So we will first write two by three plus one by five is equals to ten by fifteen plus. 3 by 15. So we write 15, 15 common. 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 is nothing but 13 upon 15. So it's a simple one. So this was about our basics of fraction. In next video, we will take subtraction, multiplication, and division of fraction. And in third video, we will take some critical problems of fractions. So till then.